Hi everyone, how's it going? Welcome to Quick Learn, and for today's video, I'll be showing you how to use Stripe as a payment method. Now, without further ado, let's get started. First, I'm going to need you to go to your computer browser, and of course, go to the Stripe website that is www.stripe.com. Now, for those of you who are wondering, uh, Stripe is a financial service website wherein you can pay or receive money from someone internationally or locally. Now, this is like um, WISE, PayPal, and other financial service website. So, um, to start now, um, all you have to do is to click on Start Now right here. Now, it will lead you to this da dashboard right here wherein you should create a Stripe account. Now, just enter the email that you want to use as your Stripe account and enter the full name or your full name rather and enter the country where you are residing from so currently I'm just gonna put it in the United States right here and now enter the password that you want and next is the click this get emails from Stripe about product updates industry news and events if you want and next just click on create account now once you have done that, um, Stripe needs um, to verify your email. So what I want to do is go to my email right here and locate the Stripe right about here. And I'm just going to se select verify email address. And there you have it. I have already verified my account. and. From now on, I'm just going to show you the basics about this. Now, first, all you have to do is to add your um, bank account. Now, to do that, all you have to do is go to balances right here. And, of course, um, please add a USD denominated bank account to pay out your USD balance. So, so, of course, if you choose a country from where you're residing from, automatically Stripe will um, generate or automatically Stripe will know what is the de the denomination or the currency of that particular country. So, if you remember, I selected United States in the country where I am residing from. So automatically, um, Stripe knows that I have a USD currency. So to do that, all you have to do is to add a bank account right here, and you have to enter the account holder name the routing number your account number and of course your confirmation account number and once you have done that and once you have entered all those details all you have to do is to click add bank account right here now for now i'm not going to do that because um i i'm not comfortable um, adding my bank account so next is um Let's go to incoming to Stripe. So funds on hold. So these funds will start being paid out again once you have resolved the issue with your bank account above. So if you have a issue with your with your bank account, so funds will be hold. So you can actually select how many um, days or how many weeks you want your funds to be hold. So you, so you can actually um, select one day, one week, four weeks. If you have three months, one year, or you can actually select a custom date or how many days that you want. So outgoing from Stripe, so currently on the way to your bank. So if you are expecting a payment from someone, so this will be activated right here. So if you're expecting something like $50, $100, $1,000, the currency or the amount will be, re will be registered right here. So next is payments. So now uh, um, choose how to start collecting payments. So Get started fast with a no-code option or explore customizable UIs that integrate with our APIs. So you have up to um, payment methods right here. So you can actually share a link to checkout page. You can actually have a manually charge a customer or you can actually have an invoice as a customer. You can also have uh, use a hosted payment UI or you can actually have a build custom UI or charge customers in person. So um, the easiest way for this is to share a link to checkout page. So I'm just gonna select create a payment link right here. 
And once you have done that, this is the payment link or the example of the payment link that we have right now. So we will be creating this, but first I'm just going to show you how you can actually create your payment link. So select type right here, products for subscription. You just um, scroll down right here or click on a drop down right here. So you, so if you so if you are um, selling products or a subscription, you can actually uh, click on the products or subscription right here. And next is payment page. So this is the payment page right here. So product. So this is a product. So they can actually find or add a test product right here. And options. You can actually click on the collect customer's address if you want that. As you can see right here, the billing address. And if you want to require customers to provide a phone number, you can actually click on that uh, as well. So right here under contact information and you can actually add some custom fields right about here so there you have it um, you have some custom fields right here like label names and the name on the cards and once you have done that you can actually go to advanced options right here so you can actually um, allow promotion codes allow business customers to provide tax IDs and save payment details for future use so next, um, if you want to change this uh, this button right here, you can actually um, select book or donate about right here. So for now, I'm just going to click on pay right here. And, and once I have done that, I'm just going to create a link right here. But for now, I can't actually create a link because I haven't activated my account yet. Now, if you want to activate your account and if you're serious with using Stripe as your payment method, you can actually do that right about here. Now, to activate your account, all you need to do is to um, select the business location that you currently have. So for now, this is the United States and the type of business. If you are an individual business owner or if you are in a company or if you are a non-profit organization. So for now, I'm just going to click on individual. I'm going to click on continue right about there. And next is to add your business details. So the business details entails your legal name, of course, and the date of your birth, your home address in the United States, your phone number, and the last digit of your social security number. So these are the personal details, my bad. And next is the business details. Now the business details entails that you, like the industry you're currently right now so stripe collects this information to better understand and serve your business so you have to select the business or the industry you are currently at so i'm just going to click on that so if you're in software you are you can click on that if you are if you are on clothing and accessories just click on that if you are on consulting services just click on that and of course there are a lot of industry right here so make sure to select the right industry where you are currently having your business from and next is the business website. If you have a business website, um, you can actually um, put that in here. And of course, you can add a, produ a product description like what are you currently selling at, etc., etc. And next is the fulfillment details. So describe how you fulfill orders. So, so as you can see right here, in order to help Stripe keep your business complaints, we need to know a little bit about how you provide goods or services. So if you're selling physical goods, just click on the yes right here. If no, um, just click on no right here so for example if you're selling physical goods just click on yes and do you ship the product by yourself um, if you do that just click on yes and if no if uh, and if no just click on no right here and once you have done that next is the public details so as you can see um, the public details entails that you should add a public detail for your customers so this information may be visible in payment statements invoices and receipts if you want to add that one you can you can actually do that right about here and next um, is to add your bank so next is to add your bank all you have to do is to, to select the bank account that you are currently have so make sure to add it to add this one accurately and once you have done that you can actually go to secure your account right here so you can actually select a authenticator app or you can actually add a security key or you can actually generate um, a security key to your SMS and now once you have done that you can actually go to add extra so you have text calculations right here if you want to add some of that some climate contributions if you want to um, contribute something to the climate right about there and next all you have to do is to review and finish all of this 
so so as you can see i haven't added anything right here so they should be missing but if you added um, everything right here from step one two three until four this will be green and this will be good to go so once you have done that just click on agree and submit and now you can actually create this link right about here for your payment method so i guess that's it for this video everyone and if you have any questions comments and suggestions just feel free to comment it down in the comment section below and with that being said that's it for this video and if you find this helpful be sure to give this video a like subscribe to this channel and of course click on that notification bell for more contents like this bye